right so that means after this the output you are expecting is 2 5 10 15 20 right so this is the sorting right so that means whatever the algorithm here you will apply so so this algorithm there are very very varieties of algorithm available right so that's what we'll see but the objective of all the algorithm is the same this is given array we want to sort it right so that is the objective so objective is very clear so we want to sort any, any given input in some form either ascending or descending that's what the objective of sorting but the question is what are the different algorithms so we'll study actually a lot of algorithms right in this particular session right but let's first understand what are the different sorting algorithms are there and why i need to right i will ask a simple question why i need to saw i need to study this many number of sorting algorithm right so if you know so there are different sorting algorithm right selection selection sort right so this is one of the sort basic sort right so then there is a bubble sort right bubble sort right then there are different different sort right so there is again more sort right then there is again quick sort right right then there is insertion sort right apart from that also there are different other kinds of sorting algorithm are there like heap sort right so you can say heap sort right not the list can go on right so like there is bucket sort there is cell sort there is uh, like different kinds of sort sort right okay so now the question is if the problem is pretty straightforward right so that means given any number right so you need to only find this particular number in a sorted form so why you i need to study this many number of sorting algorithm right or it is not actually this answer is not with respect to this particular problem i already answered some of the my uh, lectures but still i will answer this if given any problem so there is a question right so this is a problem problem is what is the problem problem is sort this array right sort the below array right so this is a problem right sort the below array so the problem can be anything and whenever there is a problem so why i need to write different different kinds of algorithm right so that's what a lot of students don't understand right and this is one of the very important uh, point whenever you will go into a research area right so if any given problem is there if there exists one algorithm a1 but why the computer science people go after another algorithm a2 because they are always interested to find an efficient algorithm than that of a1 that is the main objective okay try to understand i will repeat that statement suppose this algorithm is uh, exist right can i find a better algorithm than that particular algorithm with respect to time complexity and space complexity right and some people also solve that one using okay can i solve in different way maybe not a different maybe not with a uh, optimal solution but still can i find a different solution right so that means whenever given any problem i can write different different algorithms for the same problem in order to solve same problem with different time complexity or space complexity or maybe less or better time complexity and space complexity that is the main reason and it is not respect to sorting you if you will go into research if you will go into different programming language if you will go into industry definitely there will be an improvement of your code there will be always an improved version of your code right so definitely if you are into a sensitive applications where time complexity or space complexity plays a very vital role definitely programmer or your researcher is going to review your code or your algorithm and they will give you the input okay can you optimize a little bit more on this or can you give a little bit another algorithm which will give a little optimal solution or maybe better solution maybe may not be optimal solution okay anyway so that is the background right so why we need to study about this particular sorting different different sorting right? so we'll go one by one we'll understand what is selection sort what is bubble sort what is more sort what is quick sort what is insertion sort what is if sort 
there are also different different other kinds of sort algorithm right like i told uh, there is uh, like uh, uh, redix sort and there is bucket sort right so there are different different sorting algorithms are also available right so let's understand the basic fundamental things okay so that is the basic introduction first of all why we need to study multiple algorithms for the sorting and what is sorting sorting is pretty straightforward right so that is our objective in order to achieve so now let's start with any one of the sorting algorithm right so i will erase this and we'll start with the first sorting algorithm maybe selection sort so let's erase this okay and let's start with selection sort <clears throat> let's make a heading right let's make a heading selection sort okay <clears throat> 